Good day, let's do some multiplication near different base numbers. So you can see in these problems that here we're working with kind of this base number 1000, okay, 1008 times 105. Okay, these are two different base numbers. Here we have base number 1000, here's base number 100. Okay, similarly in this problem here, here we're kind of working close to the base number 1000. Okay, 97 is close to 100. Up here, you can see that this number here, 10,003, this is very close to the number, uh, base number 10,000. 107 is close to base number 100. And uh, once again here, we have something that looks like this one's closer to base number uh, 100,000. And then we have here, again, base number 100. So we'll start this with these two easier problems here. I'm going to move these... Um, other problems out of the way, kind of move them up and okay, so what we have here is one thousand eight times one hundred and five. Now you could see that the number one thousand and eight, like I said, that's close very close to the base number one thousand, okay, and one hundred and five is very close to the base number one hundred. So what we could do, what actually the first thing you want to do is you kind of want to put those two base numbers. So here's the base number for 1008. Okay, the base number for 105 is just base number 100. And you want to find the ratio between these two base numbers that we're working with here. So we just kind of put it like this and cross out zeros. And we can see that the ratio equals 10. Okay, that's the ratio from the, the two base numbers. All right, so now the next step to do is you kind of want to separate this between the, the answers here, uh, between the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Okay, so here's the left-hand side, here's the right-hand side. And I need to find the difference between the base number and these numbers that we're multiplying here. So we have 1,008. We're going to say that that's positive 8 away from 1,000, and 105 is positive 5 away from 100. Okay, these are the excess, the excess from the base. Okay, so for our left-hand side, what we're going to do is we've got to take this ratio, okay, let me kind of move this. Okay, remember these are being multiplied together here. This ratio, I and I need to increase either this part of the, the problem here, the 105, or increase this portion here before doing the cross addition. Okay, this works the same way as the other videos on multiplying numbers that are above a base. Okay, we're just going to cross multiply or cross add. Okay, for the left hand side, we're going to cross add. So we're either going to multiply 10, <clears throat> 10 times 105 and then add 8. Or we're going to take 1,008 and we're going to add 10 times 5. Okay, I'm either going to increase this part by 10, okay, by the ratio, and then add, cross add. Okay, that's what we have here, 10 times 105 plus 8. Or I'm going to take this top number here and I'm going to add 5 times 10. Okay, so either way, this is going to get me the same answer. This is the left-hand side. So let's see. Let's just do this top here. 10 times 105. <clears throat> that gives me 1,050 plus 8. 1,050 plus 8 gives me 1,058. Okay, that's, that's here. 10 times 105 gives me 1,050 plus 8 gives me 1,058. Same thing here, if I take 1,008 plus 10 times 5, that's 1,008 plus 50. 1,008 plus 50 also gives me 1,058. Okay, so this is our, the left-hand side of our answer. Now for the right-hand side, we're just going to multi multiply these two okay, together. So 8 times 5, that gives us 40. <clears throat> Now here's what you need to know is that, okay, the base numbers that we were using, remember we were using the base number 1000 and the base number 100. Okay, for the 
right-hand side of the answer, the number of digits allowed is equal to the number of digits in the base of the smaller base. So you can see we have two, excuse me, the number of zeros in the smaller base. So you can see we have two zeros here in the smaller base. Okay, two zeros. So that means that there's two digits allowed in the right-hand side. And eight times five, that kind of gives us that perfectly is 40. So we could say that our answer here is one zero, oops, one zero five eight four zero. Okay, this is our final answer here. Let's work on another problem. Uh, we'll go through this process again, and you could see once again how it works. We're going to do the next one. Will be multiplication near numbers below a base. Okay, so we have here 998 times 97. Okay, we can see that 998 is very close to base number 1000, and 97 is very close to base number 100. So to get our ratio, we kind of set it up one on top of the other, cancel out zeros. We can see that our ratio is 10. Okay, that's our ratio, 10. So to get the answer, first thing we want to do is we want to find the difference between 1,000 and 998. Okay, that's simply 2. 2 away. 1,000 minus 2 gives us 998. And 100 minus 3 will give us 97. So these are the deficiencies from the base number. Okay, remember, we're working here is going to be base number 1,000. And down here, we're working base number 100. So the deficiency... From 1,000, 1,000 minus 2 gives us this 998. These are the deficiencies from the base number. Okay, so we want to cross subtract. That's going to give us our left hand side. We're going to cross subtract. But before we do that, we're going to apply the ratio that we just, just solved for the ratio. So we're either going to increase this 97, we're going to multiply by 10 or we're going to increase this deficiency by 10. So for the left hand side we have 998 minus 3 times 10 or we're going to take 10 times 97 and then subtract 2. Okay, we're either going to take 998 and we're going to subtract, remember this is a subtraction because this is a deficiency, 998 subtract 3 times 10. Or we're going to take 10 times 97 and then subtract 2. Okay, so 998 minus 3 times 10, that's 998 minus 30. 998 minus 30 gives us 968. Okay, same thing here. Here we have 10 times 97. 10 times 97 is 970. And then subtract 2. Okay, also gives us 968. So our left-hand side of the answer is going to be 968. Now for the right-hand side, we're simply going to multiply these two deficiencies together. So 2 times 3. And remember that the base number that we were using, remember, we were using 1,000 for the top, and we were using the base number 100 for the bottom, that the number of zeros in the smaller base number is going to be how many digits are allowed in the right-hand side. So we have two zeros in the smaller base number, two digits in the right-hand side. So when we're multiplying these deficiencies 2 times 3, we get 6. We're going to write it like this, 0, 6. Okay, because we need two digits there. So we get our final answer, 96806. Okay, there's our final answer. All right, let's go over another problem here. Uh, maybe a little bit bigger, a bigger ratio. Same kind of idea. We're just going to be using a bigger ratio here. So here's our problem. Okay, so what base numbers are we working with here? Easy way to kind of figure out is you could kind of just draw zeros in above these numbers, tack a one on in the very front. 98, you can see that's very close to base number 100. So it looks like we have 100,000 over 100. These are our base numbers that we're working with. 
Okay, crossing out zeros, you can see that our ratio is going to equal 1,000. Okay, here's our ratio, 1,000. And now we need to find the difference from the base numbers. Okay, the difference from the base numbers. An easy way to do this, if you have, you know, numbers here and then you get this 72. Easy way to do it is just apply your all from 9, last from 10. Okay, so you can see that 99,972. The difference between that and 100,000, uh, 9 minus 9 is 0, 9 minus 9 is 0, 9 minus 9 is 0, 9 minus 7 is 2, and 10 minus 2 gives us 8. So there's the difference from the base number. Okay, here's the difference, 28, 28, and 99,972 will give us the base number 100,000. And we could see that 98 is negative 2 away from 100. So these are our deficiencies that we have here. 20, negative 28, negative 2. <clears throat> so now for our left-hand side, what we want to do is we want to increase by the ratio before doing our cross-subtraction. So we're either going to have... 99,972 minus 2 times 1,000 or we're going to have 1,000 times 98 minus 28. Okay, so let's see here. 9, 99,900. 99,972 minus 2 times 1,000. So that's basically 99,972 minus 2,000. Okay, that's going to give us 9,700, uh, 9, 9, 97,972. Okay, you can see that subtracting 2,000 from this number, you're basically subtracting 2 from the thousandths place. Okay, gives us this new number here. Same thing, if I take 98 times 1,000, that's 98,000 minus 28. 98,000 minus 28 will also give us the same number here. Okay, so this is the left-hand side of our answer. And it's going to be the same. You could either use this or you could use this. Either way, we're going to get the same answer here. Okay, and for our right-hand side, we're going to multiply the two deficiencies. So that's 2 times 28. Okay, 2 times 28 gives us 56. And once again, the smaller base number that we're working with, remember we were working with 100,000. That's the base number for the top number, and the base number for the bottom number was 100. So however many zeros are in the smaller base, that's how many digits are allowed on the right-hand side. So here we get our answer. All right, one more problem to go. Uh, this is really similar to doing the multiplication in your base numbers in my other video. The only difference is you're just increasing by the ratio uh, before you do your cross subtraction or addition. It's the only difference. All right, last problem here. Now, you can see that the base numbers we're working off of. This one is base number 10,000. And once again, we have base number 100 here. So we have 10,000 over 100. Okay, those are our two base numbers. And to find the ratio, we're just gonna cross off zeros here. So we can see that our ratio equals 100. All right, and to find the difference here, we can see that this one is positive three away from 10,000, and this is positive seven away from 100. So before we do our cross addition, we're going to cross add for the left hand side. We need to increase by the ratio, the smaller, smaller number here. So we have one ten thousand and three plus seven times one hundred, or 
we have 107 times 100, and then we're going to add 3. Okay, so we can see that that's going to give us uh, 10,703. Okay, this is our left-hand side. 10,003 plus 700. 10,003 plus 700 gives us 10,703. And for the right-hand side, we're going to multiply these two deficiencies together. 3 times 7 gives us 21. Once again, remember that the number of digits in the smaller base, remember this was the base for the top number, this was the base for the bottom number, that the number of zeros in the smaller base, that's how many digits are allowed in the right-hand side. So we have 7 times 3, that gives us 21. So here is our answer. Okay, now you might be asking what happens if, you know, you get more than two digits here. If I multiply these excess, what happens if I get more than two digits? Because I'm telling you that the number of zeros in the smaller base, that's how many digits are allowed. What if I get, you know... 121. Well, that extra number is going to be carried over. Okay, if you get a number that's greater than two digits, some number that's uh, greater than 100, greater than or equal to 100, that extra digit is going to be carried over. Okay, just like in the other videos that I have on multiplying your base numbers. So this is it. This is your multiplication near different base numbers. It's the uh, exact same as multiplying near base numbers. The only difference is you're going to increase the ratio by the ratio, the smaller number that's near the smaller base. Okay, you're going to increase by the ratio, and uh, however many zeros are in the smaller base number, that's how many digits are allowed in the right hand side. It's pretty much the only difference between this and the multiplication near base numbers technique. Is just to increase by the ratio and this rule here about the right hand side. Okay, I hope you enjoy this video, short video on uh, how to do this multiplication. I'm sure this trick comes in very handy. You get uh, you know big answers fairly quick using your Vedic math. It's an extremely fast way to do your do your arithmetic. It's uh, really convenient. It saves you room on your paper. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like these type of videos, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and simply subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.